What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we are gonna be talking about the Ruger Wrangler. We're gonna have a little short first shots with this. Uh, we're not gonna put too many rounds here today, but we're gonna put enough to kinda test this little bad boy out. This is a four and a half inch, six shot, single action 22, which is something I don't review too much on the channel, but it was so damn cheap, I couldn't pass it up. This was around $200, somewhere in that area. I am pretty excited to actually give this a try because it actually looks like it's pretty high quality. I looked on the website and uh, it's got a cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, it's got uh, some pretty decent sights on it. It's pretty decent coating. And Ruger certainly isn't the worst gun company in the world. Uh, this isn't like Taurus or anything like that. So I feel like it's certainly possible this is going to be a pretty high quality gun for a very low price. Uh, 22 revolvers can be flexed into a lot of things as well. Anywhere from dealing with varmints up to uh, squirrel and rabbit hunting. Uh, a lot of just range and fun happens with these guys as well. I have a special place in my heart for guns like this because my dad was quite the cowboy. Uh, he could jump on the back of a horse, wear cowboy boots, and denim fucking suits his whole life. And uh, he absolutely loved lever actions, uh, single actions, and that's why I love them as well. He was a John Wayne fan, I'm a Clint Eastwood guy. What can I say? Uh, however, one thing we certainly agree on is six guns. And this thing is arguably the coolest little uh, $200 six gun I've seen in a while. So the inner child in me wants to shoot this very badly. Today, we're gonna go out and shoot it with uh, some CCI mini mag, and we're also gonna shoot it with some Remington Golden Bullet, and we're gonna see how some of the reliability and accuracy fares. Uh, and I'll give you my uh, first impressions after that. Before we do that though, I wanna mention the sponsor of this video, which is Brownells. Thank you guys. I appreciate Brownells sponsoring videos lately because they're a sponsor I can really get behind. For years, I've been buying shit at Brownells already, so it's not that hard of a transfer to me. And on top of that, they're only about an hour away from my house. They're one of the largest gun distributors in the country, and they happen to be a big Iowa company, and I'm a big Iowa guy. So, big ups to Brownells. Also, I wanna mention my page supporters. Thank you guys very much. You're not helping me too much today with the 22, but I still appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Even 22 is expensive in 2022, so thanks for that. If you want to join the Patriot Squad, all you can do is go to the link in the description and sign up. And finally, there's a link to a local shelter, the YSS in Ames, Iowa. It's always down there. Go down there, give a couple bucks to those kids. It'll make you feel better. One thing I want to mention is that when we shoot revolvers, I don't have to load mags. It's true. I should buy some extra cylinders for this just because you said that shit. Just so I could load it? <laughs> That'd be real funny. It would be. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Load uh, some mags. 22 revolvers are fun to shoot, but have really, they, they are tedious to load. I will give you that. Eastwood may have had a fistful of dollars, but I got a fistful of 22. I got that reference. It's because I, I just made you watch that movie I, the other day. I know. It's free on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, we got oh, it. Oh my god! <laughs> A little high. Just because it's a $200 six gun doesn't mean it can't do 75. That's true. Oof. Again, yeah, sure I should have told that you. Time, I was pretty sure I was out and I didn't want the trolls to talk shit. Yeah, you trolls. <laughs> That was pretty good, babe. I'm super impressed. Yeah, this thing, I didn't oil this or degrease this thing or anything like a fucking idiot, so it's a little, it's a little uh, sticky. Oh, okay. That's Because weird. it's really cold. It yeah. doesn't look like it, but it's still, I mean, this is Iowa in the winter. It is so very cold. Things get sticky in the winter. Yeah. Is that funny? Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I don't know. Was I supposed to laugh? I don't know. As soon as I said it, I was like, there's got to be a joke in there somewhere. Uh, I put my fist full of 22 in the way wrong pocket, though. Uh-oh. I should have put it in the right pocket, because I always hold my revolver like this and load with my right hand, because that's what Jerry Mitchellick does, and I do what Jerry Mitchellick does, because so should you. You're so confident we're moving it back? Yeah, well, I spent a few years uh, using 22 revolvers and 22 lever actions to keep rabbits out of my dad's garden. So those rabbits are a lot smaller than these targets are. Ooh, off to the right. Did I miss? Off to the right again. I keep pulling it. It's almost like this just has a front blade sight. <laughs> Oh, 
route. Hey, you still got some. Yeah, well, Super I'm gonna impressive. I'm gonna get more than that. I'm just getting used to the gun. You gotta remember, yeah, this yeah. is the first 12 rounds I've shot out of it. Ever. Ever. And I'm shooting cheap Remington Golden Bullet too, which is not like the world's most accurate ammo. Sure, but I am but, impressed. Yeah, well, you know, people always shit on old stuff, and I always try to showcase that old stuff's still effective. Because when I was a kid, you know, while everybody was running the ghost string sights and all that stuff, I still had a bead on my shotgun, and we were shooting two liter balls at 100 yards all day in cornfields. So, I mean, sometimes you can just make shit work. Well, that is... You're like a poster child for living in small town Iowa. Me? Shooting. Which is funny because I was born in California. That's true, that's true. I was born in the middle of LA. But you're an Iowa boy at heart. Oh, that's true. I grew up here. Cowboy boots, dirt bikes, lever actions, bush light. <laughs> now you're speaking their language. <laughs> that's how I got you. <laughs> hey, it was wild turkey. What? <laughs> it was wild turkey. I thought you said wild... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Sorry, right, we're across the road now. About uh, 130, 135 yards with a $200 22 revolver. Oh, a little to the right, I saw that one hit. Right again. That it? No. God damn it. Zero. That hit. Did it? Yeah. I think you're out. Yeah, I can't hear him from back here. That was a good. I figured good. out what was going on. So, the first six shots are data. No, no. So, gathering, so if you right? look at the sight, I'm shooting with the sun off to the left, right here, and it puts a little bit of shadow on this mm. little notch that I'm using as a rear sight here. So I think what I was doing was I was pushing it a little too far to the other way. So I'm going to dial it in here and we're going to get a few hits here. All right, at I a believe distance in you. We definitely should not be getting hits at. <laughs> I want to hear, I want to hear the pings. Yeah. Got it. A little to the right again. Yes. Well, we got three. Yeah. Three out of six, that ain't bad. It's pretty good. All right, so now we are gonna shoot this little target here that my brother-in-law bought me. Maybe we will. Well. Oh. That's a wrap for that target. It is vintage. Obvious. Not anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> looks like people in the olden days had some struggles with their cute little bird 22. I can't even get that. Oh no, one fell off. That blew it right off. You shot him off. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Man, good thing they make targets that are more than three little things now, huh? <laughs> All right, my first impressions of the Ruger Wrangler are, it's really sweet to shoot, it's not so sweet to load, just like every other 22 revolver I've ever shot, uh, it does have some quirks. So let's start with the loading process here. As you can see that since it is a 22, it is a smaller diameter thing going in a smaller diameter hole than something like a 357, 38, 44 special, 44, that kind of thing. So it does take a little bit more finesse to load the actual cartridge into the cylinder. And since it's like zero degrees outside and we're wearing gloves, it's kind of hard to actually fandangle it in there. If it was in the summer, that would not have been an issue. Uh, another issue that we ran into a little bit here is when we're ejecting the rounds, the push rod here has a harder time finding the hole in the cylinder because again, it is only the size of a 22. 
Other than that, we had no problems at all. Uh, we did have one stuck casing, but that is directly related to the Remington Golden Bullet that I had plagued myself with when I bought like 10,000 rounds of this. That's not your problem, that's my problem. <laughs> the CCI had no issues at all. Uh, the Remington Golden Bullet, in all fairness, didn't have any reliability issues at all. I just had one casing that I had a hard time getting out of there. So I had to take the cylinder out and actually just ram it out of there real quick. Um, we got hits at like 135 yards, which is pretty good with a gun that has the most rudimentary sights possible. Just going to show that marksmanship skills transcend across all platforms. Uh, I'm not the best shooter in the world, but I ain't too bad. And uh, it just goes to show that even cheap guns are probably more accurate than you, whether you like it or not. And the ammo and gun combination still was able to achieve accuracy at that distance. So I'm pretty happy with that, considering that's way, way, way further than you would ever use this logically. You know, if you're shooting at a, I don't know, fucking muskrat or a rat or something like that, it's probably going to be like seven yards away. Uh, this would be a really good gun for that as well. Uh, snake shot, stuff like that. Uh, critter varmint disposal would be a term I would use for that. I use these guns primarily in my life for marksmanship training and just general fun. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cowboy holster we're going to be doing some uh, uh, draws with here for the potential thousand round review. I don't know if we'll get a thousand round review out of this. We'll certainly get a full review. I don't know if I'm going to load that goddamn cylinder a thousand times, but we'll see. It's certainly possible. Uh, the world hasn't ended yet. Uh, however, I do like the gun, and for $200, if you're going to go out and just have some fun with it and shoot it, I think it's a pretty damn good choice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Hey babe, I found something you could put on for me. Ooh, yeah? Is that the new look? Oh, oh, we gotta end this video. We gotta go inside.